We all have our lead follow-up systems that come after we generate the lead. Some of us are steadfast in our approach and are very good at that, others are not. But I'm here today to talk to you about what we do after that initial conversation that can absolutely change the trajectory of your career and separate you from kind of the money hungry lead chasing agents. Huh, that drip campaign isn't included in your CRM subscription? Not surprising. Today, I'm gonna dive into exactly what I do to take conversations into clients. That's right, I said clients with an S, not singular. Stay tuned. What's up guys, Jeremy Kim's Real Estate Agent Playbook, both on podcast and YouTube. Thank you for tuning in, however you are doing that today. As always, if you would like access to my free mini course on sphere development, it'll absolutely change the way you look at your business and how you operate with intention within that sphere of influence, which I believe is your business, not just a pillar. Uh, definitely follow the link below, check it out. I would love to share that with you for absolutely free and invite you into our real estate agent playbook community, which is developing on the school platform. The first thing that I do after I have a conversation with a lead that may be already in my CRM or maybe it's coming from the outside is I go and document that conversation within the CRM. Some fancy CRMs will remind you to keep up to date with people, but regardless, if I can just document the conversation, I don't have to have repeating conversations. It helps with you know, how they feel about me if we're not talking about the same thing over and over again, because the truth is I talk to hundreds of people um, about real estate in a year, you know, so we have to document that so that I have a frame of reference because sometimes these conversations, maybe they are renting and maybe they do have a year or two, you know, out. And I wanna capture these conversations and I wanna turn these conversations into clients and how I manage their experience from the time they tell me they're a renter to not to buying a home you know, maybe years. And the truth is, is that I get so frustrated when I hear real estate agents say, oh, you know, my YouTube channel is just attracting renters and all of these things. Like there's absolutely no reason as a real estate agent, you shouldn't, you know, be a part and provide value for that renter to turn them into homeowners. Let's be real here. You know, the American dream of home ownership is, you know, something that people feel in the headlines and everybody kind of feels like it's moving away. And if we're just pushing these people that are renters aside, you're wasting big time money and you're losing money because, you know, ultimately it could be a six figure mistake right there. So understand that if we're able to manage these conversations and I get it, like, you know, we want to work with, you know, luxury and this is my avatar and this is who I'm working with. This is my niche. That's okay. But you know, even if it's, you know, nurturing that relationship so you can refer it out if you're not, you know, uh, expert in first time home buyers or you don't like working with first time home buyers, that's still income. And I think it's a six figure mistake just to push these leads aside because they're renting, because they're renters, because, you know, they're moving out of state or, you know, there's opportunity through referrals and all the things to help these people along their journey. And if they're reaching out and if they're taking the time to talk to you, they clearly <clears throat> you know, have an intention to make real estate transactions at some point in their life, whether they know it or not. And so documenting through the CRM is super important and allows you to kind of expand that time horizon in which you can kind of serve these people and touch base with these people because you can document the journey all the way through. And don't get me wrong, I love the ones that are easy, ready to roll, hey, I'm pre-approved, this is exactly what I want, set them up on a search, bam, we're out, you know, in two days looking at houses, negotiating in the next three days and under contract and so on. But the honest truth is those are few and far between. And with technology and, you know, kind of looky-loos everywhere, we're able to capture a lot of people's information that have an interest in buying or selling a home at some point in time. So that's that's a huge step in the process and we we can still serve those people and still make that happen but the truth is is that this video i really want to focus on how do we take from conversation to the time frame between in which you know could be very short or extremely long to turn them into clients but also the better their experience is and and the more attentive we are to them we up the opportunity of them referring us to their people. And the truth is, if they're in that conversation or having conversations about real estate, it all happens, right? There's people within their network that are talking to them about real estate, buying, selling, all the things 
And so you have to understand that even if they're an 18 year old kid who's looking at trying to purchase a home, he probably hangs out with a group of 18 year olds that's pretty you know, forward thinking and wants to get into home ownership. So if you can do that and take that entire group and turn them into first time home buyers, at that age, if they're really focused on that, then they're first time home buyers, then they're move up buyers, then they're probably buying the luxury property. And all of a sudden you've done four or five, six transactions with that one person, you know, multiply that over five friends or a group that you get into and it's, it, it's almost viral. And that's how you really build the real estate business by referral. So that takes me back to my next point is every conversation you have should be about connecting with that group right? Not just that one person, because if you can provide the proper journey and the proper education and, and give them, you know, little tidbits and golden nuggets, they take away from your conversation. They say, Hey, I was talking to my real estate agent, Jeremy, he thinks a little bit differently, you know, and then all of a sudden that one conversation turns into five to 10 leads that you can then, you know, exponentially grow. And if, if you can take advantage of a group like that and take advantage of the opportunity to have that conversation and provide value to the one, then maybe that becomes five different clients who then become more and more as they go. So, and if you think about this, and oftentimes we kind of separate ourselves from this, they clicked on a lead or they, you know, commented on a YouTube video or whatever. And I'm not saying that internet leads are bad. I'm just saying that if we can turn that one internet lead who raised their hand and said, hey, I have a question or commented or engaged in our post, if we can turn that into more, that's kind of the thing. But their experience starts immediately after they click that button, after they you know, look at the pictures of that listing or wherever they start, that's where their journey starts. And so if we can focus in on making that journey the best damn journey they've ever had, answering their questions, being an asset to them, we will absolutely see our business exponentially grow because they're gonna talk about it. And they need to say, I, you know, my experience is so darn good. You know, with Jeremy, he's answering questions about rentals or, you know, where I want to live and, you know, kind of giving me insight, even though he doesn't make a dollar off a of rental, you know, then as as time progresses, then they will be unable to forget about you. Because once you have that conversation, they're in your CRM, they're in your ecosystem, they're getting all of the value that you provide, both personalized and, you know, mass produced. And as you kind of do that, you're building trust passively, regardless of if they're renting, living in their mom's basement or buying a $2 million house. If they're seeing that value and they're doing all the things and they're developing into, you know, closer to your client avatar, closer to that, that target market that you're looking for. So I urge you to show up to every single conversation like that conversation could be, you know, what unlocks crazy, big, hairy, audacious goals that you wanted for your real estate business. That one conversation can lead to, you know, $25 million in sales. And that one conversation can lead to someone's life being changed. And if you change people's lives and you help them in, you know, what most people call the biggest purchase of their life or this stressful situation that has to do with housing, let's be real, shelter is a, you know, definite need in our society. So if you can help them and provide them all the resources and all that value, it could change your life. So if you approach every single conversation like it could be life changing and nurture it in that with that mindset, your business will be fruitful for as many years as you want to serve as a real estate agent until you're out of production teaching other people how to build their business. And that's kind of my passion. Thanks so much for tuning in the real estate agent playbook. I hope this helped and I hope this changes your mindset on taking that conversation to a client. And it's a process. It's not going to be overnight. Sometimes it will be. But if you can continue to nurture and build that relationship and build business by referral, you will absolutely never have to work another day in your life. So thanks so much for tuning in. Please leave me a review if you're listening on podcasts. If you are watching on YouTube, check out this video right here, all about sphere of influence and how I've built my business. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.